Hey everybody, welcome back to another IMR video on the Stinger and G70, G80 big turbo kit build. We are doing a series on all of what is required to build this turbo kit on this platform and get it to a higher power level, higher than what can typically be achieved with the standard OEM turbos. So in this video, we're going to talk about a few things. But first, I got to say uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for following us. Uh, please do go ahead and subscribe. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help us uh, provide more content for you as we move forward. So this video is going to talk about new updates that we achieved with putting the car on the dyno. Remember that this is going to be our first actual dyno with the bass tune that we received on the EK1 light, and it's also going to just be at wastegate pressure with the external wastegates. That's about 14, 15 psi is what it's set to. So, a um, couple things to keep in mind: we had no added fuel and no water methanol. So, what you're going to see are numbers that are completely based on the OEM systems. And with these turbos, we're just getting started. So this will be our baseline pull on the dyno um, where you see how much power these turbos are gonna make before we add more fuel, before we add more methanol. So I want you to know that we set the turbo waste gates at um, the 14 and a half PSI spring, so 14, 15, but uh, what is important here is that the compressor efficiency map, that's kind of right around where these turbos are starting to wake up. So we can't wait till we get more into the middle of that map where it's closer to the 20s, mid 20s, where we think we'll be maxing things out is 30s, close to 40 PSI. Now obviously before we go to that much power, we have to upgrade the fueling system upgrade the head studs and really if you're going to 30 anything you're going to need a, a, a built bottom end but that's not what everybody wants to go towards some people are just looking for 700 maybe 800 um, we don't know if we need a bottom end built at that point i think this this engine can actually handle 650 to 750 on stock internals but i do think you will need head studs so before we get to that point where we can actually turn up the boost to 30 anything or really even 20 anything we need to go ahead and get cpi on the car cpi i believe is going to be what's required in order to provide the additional fuel needed to support this massive volume of air that these new turbos, these bigger turbos are flowing. Anyway, we hope you enjoy the video because it's going to help just demonstrate how practical the kit is, how streetable it is. Um, we're taking it around, we're driving it around town to the dyno, we're going ahead and driving it to the car wash and different things. So we want you to see the car just kind of functioning as it would in everyday life. And what's cool about this car is from the outside, it looks fairly stock. The other big takeaway from this is going to be how practical and streetable the car is being tuned on the EK1 Lite. We're able to make the power, but the car is not jerky, it drives like OEM, and when you want to get into the boost, boom, we're off. Alright, so we're going to make a couple dyno passes, and then we're going to go ahead and turn the car over to the customer. They want the car back to support some events that their sponsors are actually hosting. And so it's important for them to make it to those events. Now, once we turn it back over to them, they're gonna continue putting on some of the additional mods that they have in mind in the next stages. That's gonna include things like CPI, which is needed to turn up the boost. That's also gonna include a MoTeC. They have a MoTeC, but we wanted to go ahead and run the car on the EK1 Lite and do the back end flash to show how practical, how drivable, and that we can make the tune happen. Um, but they're also going to continue to do things like put head studs in and um, they're going to do that back on their end. We have a few more builds coming up after this so stay tuned we're going to have some that we actually turn up with all the mods in our shop and I need you to keep following so you guys can see 
what's coming next. Anyway, enough of me yapping. Let's get into what you wanted to see, which is the dino pole, the driving around town, and so forth. Thank you for tuning in. give them less to talk about. <laughs>
there you have it. You got to see the car do the pull on the dyno. We're gonna show you the graphs now. All right, so you had the opportunity to see the car on the dyno and we're really happy with the end result. What this shows us is that at the very lowest boost setting, we put about a 14, 14 and a half spring in the external wastegates and at the very lowest setting, we already hit 500 uh, horsepower to the wheels on this car. And so we can't wait to see what happens when we actually have an opportunity to let the customer put more fuel um, through CPI, add water meth and whatever else that will allow us to turn up the boost. When we turn up the boost to mid 20s and even 30s, we can expect to be at significantly larger numbers, but we have to have those additional supporting mods, which the customer wants to take care of on their own. What's coming next for us is we're going to go ahead and help the car get back to the owner, like I mentioned, so that we can allow him to continue the build and working with his sponsor to uh, take it to that next level for the drag strip. Thanks for tuning into this video. This isn't the end of the series, even though the car is leaving this facility. It's gonna go back to the owner and he's gonna continue to share content with us, content from the drag strip, content from the dyno on his end. We're gonna continue to follow this one closely as it is our first kit that we put out on this platform and um, we can't wait to see the next one. We already have two more cars lined up at the IMR facility in Dallas, and those are gonna have um, similar size turbos. Um, some of the builds are gonna be a little more aggressive than this one was, so definitely continue to tune in and follow our builds. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and make sure you tell all your friends about us, and you know where to get the kit.